Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're looking at system of linear equations today. We're going to solve linear systems using the graphing method. First off, we have to talk about what is a system. A system is when you have more than one equations graphed on the same graph. So here's an example. I have a linear equation graphed here. I'm going to add a second one. So the place where they meet is called the solution for this system, and these two equations together are a system. The place where they meet in this case is right there. We can locate that as the point 2, 2. That would be the solution for this system. We are using today the graphing method for solving. That's when you get two equations and you graph them, and the point they cross is pretty clear like this, 2, 2. If they met down somewhere around where I'm pointing right now, where it was in between points, you can't be completely um, sure what the solution is, there are other ways to solve those systems. But when you graph two equations and they have a very distinct intersecting point or solution for their system, then we use the graphing method. It's pretty quick and clear and we can solve where it is. All right, so we could say the solution's 2, 2. We could also say x equals 2 and y equals 2. And whenever you have a system of linear equations and they have one clear solution, in other words, they cross e each other, and it doesn't matter where they cross, they can cross at um, clear points like 2, 2, or they could cross you know, at negatives or decimals or fractions. If they cross one time, we call this a consistent system and an independent system. So this would be a consistent independent system. They cross at one point. It has one solution for the system, and it's consistent independent. So let's look at some examples of consistent independent systems and go ahead and solve them using the graphing method. So here's um, a consistent independent system. And we can look at the point where they cross right there. And that's the solution for the system. In this case, again, it's a nice obvious point, 4, 2, or we could say x equals 4, y equals 2. That's the solution for this consistent independent system. Here's another example of a consistent independent system. It clearly crosses, these two lines cross at a distinct point. In this case, we can probably graph it out here at negative 1, 2, 3, and negative 2. They seem to cross at nice whole numbers or integers, which is really nice and convenient. But any consistent independent system, they, that all, all that means is that they cross. Once one time, they just cross over each other. They can cross over each other anywhere, but that is a consistent independent system. What about this one? When we're asked this for the solution of this system, what do we do? We have two lines. These are parallel lines. They never cross each other. So we would say there is no solution. The name of this type, whenever there's no solution, where they're just parallel lines, they'll never cross each other. They're on the same plane. We call this inconsistent. All right? A consistent system has a solution. Inconsistent system no solution. So this is an inconsistent system. There's no solution. These lines will go on forever and ever and never cross. There's one other type of system that we can deal with. There's the consistent independent, the inconsistent system, and now what if you've got two lines right on top of each other like this? There are two lines. I tried to make them different colors so they stand out. There's a black line and a green line. They are exactly the same line. What would we say for this? Because they're the same location, there are an infinite number of solutions. Every single point along this line is also a point along the other line. So they have an infinite number of solutions. And we have a special name for these. They're called consistent because they have a solution, but they are dependent, a consistent dependent system, or we can also call it a coincident. All right? 
both of these terms are used, so I just want to put both of them in there. But I'll refer to them as a consistent dependent system from now on. So there are three types of systems. We just want to look at them real briefly again. Um, a consistent independent system is a system with one solution. It's where two lines are drawn in any place. doesn't matter the angle that they cross. It doesn't matter the location they cross. If they are two lines, linear equations, they have a one distinct solution. It's a consistent independent system. If they are two lines and they're lying right on top of each other, it's a consistent dependent solution, all right, or system, a consistent dependent system. So you can see if they have a solution, at least one solution, we call them consistent. The independent are kind of two separate lines. They're independent of each other. This one here, I like to remember it as being dependent because they're kind of on top of each other. They like they're exactly together the whole way. They're completely dependent on each other. All right? And it has solutions, so we say it is consistent. The inconsistent is the system that never crosses. It never has a solution. They are parallel lines. They do not cross each other. They have the same slope, and they are inconsistent. So those are the three major types of systems of linear equations.